Video is sponsored by PCB Way. So this is Division version 4.0. This robot would not have been possible without the help of PCB Way. They machined all of the components that go into the flywheel system on this robot. When I was testing, the flywheel was able to reach a top speed of about 54,000 RPM using an oversized battery, but with aerodynamic drag from the weapon and some of the other limitations on the battery, it could actually fit into this. I think the maximum is closer to 42,000 RPM. Still, this robot packs a serious wall up. The kinetic energy stored in the weapon is around five or 600 joules, but there's about three times as much just stored in the flywheel. PCBA machined the flywheel shaft and the flywheel weighted disc itself out of 4140. And they also wire EDM cut the knurled wheel that drives the flywheel via friction drive system using a TPU 3D printed rubber disc mounted to this custom hub motor. Now, as you probably just saw, this hub motor will be available for sale on my website in probably about two months. And it'll be about $100 for a ready to go weapon system. All you have to do is add your own blade and it mounts with four M5 screws on each side to your frame and there are no belts, nothing to worry about on that department. To power the weapon, I'm running my Pariah 70 app AM32 ESC. You can already buy on my website right now. The wheels are driven by the six millimeter flange hub. You can already buy on my website as well. And these are just custom cast urethane 2.2 inch wheels. And I'm running Darkbox Pros on the drive. These are beta units that I just got and they are using all metal gears. It's a 24 millimeter gearbox and it should be insanely durable, much, much bigger gears than you see in the 22 millimeters I currently sell, and it shouldn't be priced that much higher, and have a 4140 hardened steel billet output shaft. So yeah, I think this is gonna work quite nicely. Huge thank you again to PCB Way for making the flywheel parts in a really short timeline for me, making sure that I could get this robot into the arena you can see it's uh, certainly quite a departure from version three here. The whole robot's design language is completely changed. Instead of using a billet chassis that covers the back and bottom and mounts the uprights directly to it, that's machined out of aluminum on this spot, I've gone to carbon fiber and 3D printed TPU. So everything that can get damaged badly is super cheap to, and easy to replace and to modify. Uprights are 3 8 inch thick UH&W pocketed in the middle. And those I got from CNC Madness. The carbon fiber parts are from CNC Madness as well. Overall, this design is very monsoon inspired. It can run upside down, right side up. It can self-right, even on its weird diagonals. 
from the side using just the drive system. And I don't have to rely on the weapon to have a huge amount of torque anymore, which is what allows me to switch to this hub motor weapon instead of needing a belt drive system like I had on version 3 here. I'll be sure to do a full design review video at some point when I've got more time, but for right now, I just wanted to get this video out there and give everybody a look at what they should be expecting when they see Division Version 4 in the box. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you can see my event recap from this event. I'll be bringing this bot to Norwalk Havoc literally at, to come eat tomorrow as filmed in this video. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it when I get into the box and I can record some videos of it fighting. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.